everyone, I'm Rue. I'm answering another one of your biggest questions today. Let's find out what it is. Ryan asks, why does God let bad things happen? Whoa, what a question, Ryan. I've wondered that too, especially when I've had a day or a year that was just the worst. Maybe you got really hurt. Maybe you failed a test. I'm so scared to tell my mom and dad. You thought that it couldn't get worse when... Seriously? Bad things happen to all of us. But why do they happen? If God is super powerful, why does he let these tough things happen? Trixie is asking that same question today in The Source. Let's find out what happens. Good job, good job, good job. You know, sometimes I wish this was an Olympic sport. Who says it can't be? I like the way you think, J-Dog. The only obstacles that we face are the ones in our mind. Oh, that's deep. I heard it on the bonus level in Crazy Yo Brothers 9. I need to play that game so bad. Boom! Wow. The human ricochet. It's one of the toughest shots in trash ball. I see no obstacles. Have you guys seen Gabby? No. She's still on vacation with her family, remember? Right, I forgot. What you got there? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Well, it looks like something. <sighs> Fine, but promise not to laugh. Scout's on. Okay, I was gonna show it to Gabby first, but you guys might be a better audience. What is it? I'm dying to know. It's a comic book. What? <laughs> You're writing a comic book? No way! <laughs> I'm trying to, but that's just the first draft, and I can't come up with a logo. Wait, well, this is great. Really? Dude, this is like a real comic book. So cool. What do you call it? I call it the Light Force. Whoa, they're like superheroes. <laughs> Whoa! I, I like this character, Axiom. Oh, I love his superpowers. He like knows everything. <laughs> he just crashed into a wall. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this based on us? You might have inspired some things. Wait, who am I? Trixie, you need to show this to Mr. Corbin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll like it. Well, are you kidding me? He loves comics. He needs to see this. Not just Mr. Corbin. The whole world needs to read Light Force. <laughs> Still mad I beat you in trash ball? <laughs> Have you seen Trixie? Uh, no, actually I haven't. Why? I had this great idea to help promote her comic book. And we were supposed to meet here an hour ago and she hasn't shown up. If you're gonna market this book, I want it. Trixie, hey, uh, I wanted to show you my ideas. I can't right now. Are you sure it'll take like Bowie, five? I said I can't. Where's Gabby? She's still away, remember? Of course she is. Trixie, are you okay? No! I'm not, so if someone could please tell me where Mr. C is, that'd be great. No, but we're here. Where's my sketchbook? I borrowed it. I, I wanted to show you my ideas. Just give it back, now please. I, I don't- I Trixie, what's wrong? Hey Trixie, your dad's outside. Thanks, Mr. C. And find my sketchbook. What was that about? Seriously, I haven't seen Trixie so upset before. They're admitting Trixie's mom to a special clinic in another state. What? I thought she was doing better. Yeah, it seems like things have taken a turn for the worse. Well, what happens at a special clinic, Principal C? Oh, it's like a, it's like a super hospital. They're gonna do all they can to help Trixie's mom feel better, but 
This is a really hard time for Trixie. She's gonna need her friends right now. <sighs> Man, I just don't understand why bad things happen to good people. Hey again. When bad things happen, it's so normal to wonder why. Why did I get hurt? Why did someone I love get sick? Why did my mom lose her job? We might even try to figure out the reason. Did I do something wrong? Is there something I'm missing? Are you angry with me, God? Those are such big questions, and we're not the first people to ask them. Our big question, why does God let bad things happen? is what one whole book of the Bible is about. One of the oldest stories in the Bible is the story of someone named Job. You can read his story in the book of Job, in the Bible. So Job's life seemed pretty great. He loved God and followed him. Job was rich and he had tons of stuff and a huge family. But in one day, that all changed. Job got some terrible news. <laughs> Job, we were attacked by robbers. They took everything they could. Job, there was a fire at your stable. Your animals are all gone. Job, your house just collapsed. I'm sorry, your family couldn't escape. In one moment, Job lost everything. He had no money, he lost all the things he owned, and his family suddenly died. Then, somehow, things got worse. Job got really sick. He was covered in sores from his head to his toes. Job couldn't even do anything but sit and cry and wait. Have you ever felt like there was no hope? Like things couldn't possibly get any worse? Maybe you've been picked on over and over again at school and you feel like it'll go on forever. Maybe you got sick and felt afraid. Maybe you lost something or even someone who was very close to you. You probably felt mad, sad, and scared all at the same time. That is exactly how Job felt too. He yelled, he cried, and he said he was so afraid. Different people tried to tell Job what to do. Job, God doesn't really care about you. Just give up. Job, you must have done something wrong. Admit that you deserve this. Job, 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 your life was just too good before. That's why this happened. None of their answers were right. Job didn't want to just give up. He hadn't done anything to deserve this, and he knew having a good life wasn't a bad thing. Finally, Job went and talked to God himself. God, why am I even here if I'm gonna hurt this badly? God, why are evil people doing great while I'm alone and poor and sick? God, are you angry with me? All of those feelings were okay. He asked God tough questions, and God was okay with that too. In fact, God actually answered Job. God didn't explain everything or fix it all. Sometimes things happen, and we just don't know the reason. What God told Job was that he was with him through it all. After a while, Job got over his sickness. He rebuilt his home and started a new family. Job didn't get all the answers to his problems, but he did learn something super, super important. We can trust God when we are hurting. If you have tough questions, ask God. If you feel angry, sad, hurt, lonely, or anything else, God cares, and you can always tell him. We won't always know why bad things happen, but we can trust God no matter what. Next, let's see how Trixie is doing through her own tough time. Bowie, do you think Trixie's gonna be okay? 
I don't know. I mean, her mom's been sick for a while. But this is the worst that it's been! We gotta do something. Uh, Trixie doesn't usually take too well to help. So what do we do? I don't know. Mr. Corbin, is Trixie okay? Well, I think she'll be back later today. We'll find out more then. Hey, Principal C, question. Yeah. Why is this happening? What do you mean? Well, Trixie believes in God, and this seems like something God should fix. Well, it does. Unfortunately, we live in a world where bad things happen. I don't know, Principal C. I just thought everything was supposed to be good and stuff when you follow God. Yeah, well, in a world with evil, sometimes things happen beyond our control. But God's bigger and stronger than all of that. Wait, Wait Mr. Corbin, did, did Trixie do something to deserve this? No, no, no. Sometimes life is just really hard. I feel like God's mean. No, God's not mean. It just doesn't make any sense, Principal C. Okay, I think I have an idea that can help you understand this. Jesse. When you're in the football field, do you expect the other team to just let you win? No way. They're going to bring their A game to try to knock me out. That's right. Well, we have an enemy that doesn't want us to succeed at any cost. Wait. Like a supervillain? Yeah, like the ultimate supervillain. But you don't have to worry about him because God's on your side. And when the enemy tries to hurt you, you trust God's plan. Well, how do we trust God's plan? I think I know where you're going with this, Principal C. You see, God's like a coach, and just like in the game, you gotta follow the coach's game plan, especially when things get hard. So if we don't follow God's plan, then we get punished? No, 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 God doesn't work that way. But when we trust and follow God's plan, it helps us face the really hard things. So, should we act like we're Trixie's teammates? Actually, that's a great way to put it. Look, when someone's going through something hard, we just encourage them as best we can. I can do that, Principal C. Uh, Mr. Corbin. I worked on a logo for Trixie's comic. Trixie made a comic? Yeah, and it's really cool. She wanted you to read it before all this happened. I'll make sure I get it back to her. I'm really sorry for being upset with you guys. No, we should say sorry to you. No, you guys are fine. How's your mom? Uh, Dad says that I'll be able to visit her this week. Well, if you need anything, we're on it. Actually, I could use some help with this story I was working on. It seems like some kids are giving away test answers so they won't get bullied. Consider it done. I'll look into it. I'll help you. I think I have the best disguise. Thanks. You know, I have to say, you're awfully chill, Trixie. It's like none of this is even bothering you. I'm just trying to trust God, boy. Mr. Corbin says that's the best thing we can do. I, I showed him your comic. He seemed to really like it. Thanks. I'm gonna go help Jesse with your story. But if you need anything, call me. I'm on your team. God, I'm really scared. And I know you're supposed to be there for me, but I can't see you. So can you just let me know that you're still looking out for me? He is. Mr. C, are you here to give me some big pep talk? No, I came by to give back your comic book. But we put a logo on it. It's just my opinion, but I think it's a pretty incredible story. Thanks, Mr. C, but I wish my real life story was as great as my comic book story. Trixie, I, I know you're facing one of the hardest things anybody could ever face. I just want you to know I'm really impressed with how you're handling it. But I feel like I could be doing more. Well, don't be too hard on yourself now. You're a lot stronger than you were last year. I've seen God do too much for me not to trust him. I know he's still in control. That's a very brave attitude. Mr. C, even if I do trust God, is it 
still okay to be scared? Yes, it absolutely is. Thanks, Mr. C. I'm proud of you. Glad someone thinks I'm brave. Because <laughs> on the inside I'm falling apart. <laughs> This has been a challenging day. When we're hurting, like Job was, it can be really tough to trust God. Trixie did that though. She had to be so sad, afraid, and even angry, but she chose to trust God through it all. The thing is, it's okay to be sad, afraid, and angry. Bad things that happen are part of our story, but they are not the whole story. Both Job and Trixie learned that too. If that's where you're at today, here's my challenge for you. Talk to God. Tell God what you're going through. Tell him about your hurt, your fear, your anger. He can handle all of it. And no matter how you're feeling, he will always love you completely. You can talk to God anytime and anywhere whenever you want to. If you haven't made the choice to follow God and trust him with your life, you can do that today. Talk to your parent or a leader at church about making that amazing decision. See you next week.